Hi, in this video, I'm talk a little bit about animations in Unity. And I don't want to talk a very detailed uh, or a very complex animation. I just want to use a very, very simple as uh, for uh, uh, just move around. And uh, you can use the transform nodes and change the position of any objects uh, within certain of time. We create a very simple animation. But before you start to do any anim animation, you need to understand one thing is uh, the units will be flash to the screen um, uh, maybe 60 frames per second. This is the frame way you need to uh, take care about this is uh, actually on screen. You can see units keep reflashing the screen. And uh, most of the times the game support is 60 frames per second. It depends on uh, the computer uh, system, uh, how powerful of your GPU or how, how powerful of your uh, how many RAM you got and some make sure to pick up this uh, uh, high frame rate. So sometimes if you uh, want to do 100 frames per second, yes, but not all the machines can achieve this frame rate and you still uh, cannot do this smooth animation. But I think most of the common uh, computing right now can do a 60 frames per second. Okay, so what this means is for one second and the Unity will refresh 60 times. Okay, so 60 times a frame one and a frame two and frame three. If you uh, at the frame rate is 60 frame, that means for one second you will see 60 frame of uh, uh, playbacks are showing on screen. So if we want to using a or create very simple animation, we just do one thing is for each frame, I just move my objects to a certain distance. And if you play back in series, and this is we call a very simple animation. All right, so you can using this and set a very simple thing and then you can move any kind of objects. So this is not uh, the same as an animator look within Unity. It's just a very simple a C sharp script to move a character a certain distance per frame. And that's it. Okay, so let's go to the Unity to see how it works. So if I want to move anything, okay, the first thing is you need to define which object you want to move. And then say you, if you do not using any of the animator or the animations or function provided by Unity, I just want to control the animation by myself. Uh, maybe it becomes uh, because your game rule or gameplay, maybe you have uh, some requirement for your this objects. And maybe this is so simple because I just changed this objects uh, maybe one meter per frame. You can just using C sharps to program and that Unity to do it for you. But the first thing is you need to define which object you want to move, and you can set the start position. Okay, when the game start, and just keep updating its position per frame. So you have to do two things first: start position, and then. Uh, how far it move. Okay, if we're talking about how far, of course, we also talk about the direction, okay, and the distance. All right, and let's take a look. Okay, all of them is using a C sharp to do it. So uh, first, I just uh, select the cube. The cube here is I want to move around. Uh, so I need to attach a C sharp to control this movement. And the start position, of course, we can set the X, Y, and Z here. This is the start position. But of course, in C sharp, you can also change this value. Okay, if you put it in the start method, you can change this position. So I create a um, C sharp. Okay, I call uh, the C uh, the cube move. All right, this is the C sharp. So you can check this out later. Okay, uh, I open this in the Visual Studio. Explain a little bit about the code. Uh, there's a two things I need to do. One is I need to set uh, the start position. And then I need to move this cube uh, a certain distance per frame. So uh, if you want to make your class more flexible, I can change this uh, distance, okay, by using a variable and set it to public. So within this, I just set one variable here is conduit speed, okay. So how many, okay, how far it go per frame, okay. So I set it not point one, okay. So I don't want it to move too fast, just not point one uh, meter. Uh, per frame, okay, and then I can also set is the start position. So how to set the start position? Remember, if you create any of the C shapes in Unity, you will have a two very very special method. It's called a start and update. The start will be executed when the game start. 
So this is a very good place to set the initial position of your cube. So I set the transparent position here to a default, or this is the uh, start point. Okay, the x is 20, uh, the y is 1, and the c is 0. This is my initial position, or the default position where the game starts. So if you put transform dot position equal to a new vector three, and it will assign this position to the uh, objects attached to this keep move screen, it will send uh, the objects to this position as the start point. Okay, so remember start will only execute once, and it will set here and wait for next thing to do. And if you want to do the animations, if you look at the uh, Mechanism is very simple. Is every frame I just move this cube forward, uh, maybe a certain distance. So if I go back to my code, I need to go to the update. So remember, start will only call once, and update will keep calling every frame. So if your game can support 60 frames per second, that means the update will be executed 60 times per second. Okay, and each time I want to move my character. Uh, maybe not point one, okay, um, distance forward, okay. So this is what I needed. So if you want to do this, you just need to add, okay, or you need to. Uh, it depends, okay, whether you which direction you are going to do, uh, send this. So I can set is here. I just want to move uh, the cube around the x value, okay, and I want to check what's the x value. So it's a uh, it's good is before you write down anything about try to understand or try to look at the objects. Okay, the local assets give you some okay value here. So if I set the initial value is a 20x y1 c0 is the same inside my Visual Studio. I go to here and set this a 20, 1, and 0. So this is the start position. And after that, I need to define where is the animation okay which is the direction i want to move along this okay so when you drag along this red gizmo this is along the x axis you can look at the x value okay the x value is going to be moved here is increasing but if i want to move here i need to decrease the x value all right so direction is very important okay so if you move along this you're increasing the x if I want to move this, I need to decrease the value. So for each frame, if I decrease a certain value, you will have an animation along this path. Okay, but because I want to move to this direction, I actually will decrease the current position every frame. I need to subtract, okay, certain distance. And I already have the distance is called a speed. So I just subtract the speed every frame. So I go back to Visual Studio. This is the first statement here is the current position x. This is x here. And I wanted to subtract the speed. Okay, remember if I put this statement within the update, this statement will be called every frame 60 times per second or even higher if you set the frame width uh, higher than 60 or your machines can support. And after I do this calculations, I using one flow number to hold it, and I using this number to assign to the current position. Okay, so this is what I needed. Okay, so after you set this, I will set okay a new position x y z to the current position. Okay, and this x will be calculated by subtract the speed. Okay, so that means every frame and the unit will get the current position. Subtract not point one is my speed. You can modify this later and set this to the new position. Alright, so every frame the cube will move not point one along x axis and to this direction. Okay, so just move this direction. Let's keep subtracting okay so if you don't do any control this animation will keep moving along and for infinity and if I want to go back okay I, I want to set the boundary here I don't want to keep move beyond this line 
So you can uh, set some if condition to check uh, whether uh, the x value is smaller than certain value. I want to reset the x to the current position. So you can do any kind of the logic here. If you don't set any control, the cube will keep decreasing the x value forever. Okay, so because if you pass uh, your camera, you can't see. All right, so I want to set the back if you uh, the x value after subtract the speed is smaller than negative one. So where's negative one? So you can go back to unity to see, okay, where's the negative one? You can just enter negative one here. And if you notice my camera here, that means if your cube just passed the initial position of the uh, player, I will reset this x to 20 again. So that means I will set this to 20 again, and it will keep move again. So this uh, animation loop, okay, within my um, uh, unity. So this is the simplest way to do a very simple linear animations. But if you want to set an easy in out, you can do it later. But basically, if you just want to move around, do a very simple game that the enemy will walking approach to your character, you can just using C sharp to uh, subtract or you can increase okay any of the x, y, and z value of your objects. So after you have the script, I save it. And remember, you need to attach the script to the object you want to move. Okay, so I have a cube here. I drag this cube move to the cube so that I will have this script here. And remember, I just have one public variable here is not point one. So if you not satisfied with the speed, I want it faster and slower, you can modify here and you don't need to go back to the C sharp to edit any code. So this is good. Remember, every time if you want to make your component or script more flexible, you may need to create some public um, methods or public variable. So uh, Unity will provide a UI here so you can modify this value uh, other than you go back to the Visual Studio and modify the values line by line. So it's a very good approach. So this is what how to create a very simple animations and uh, if you want to do more complex animation, you can refer to the animator provided by Unity. But for a very simple Google VR game, I think this is already enough. If you wanted to test and play uh, some of the game rule or game um, uh, play for this Google VR cardboard application. All right, so that's for today. See you in the next video.